All right, we'll call this regular monthly meeting to order for the Scarborough Sanitary District. It's March 28th, 2024. Calling the roll. We'll start with Ben McDougall. Here. Jason Greenleaf. Here. Ruth Summers. Here. Mike Stein. Here. Anthony D'Amelio. Here. I'm Chairman Nick Rico. Here as well. All right, minutes from the last monthly meeting. I'll have to abstain because I didn't attend. I'll entertain a motion. Move approval. Thank you, Jason. Second. Second. Thank you, Ben. All right, anyone have any corrections? Barring none. All in favor. And one, two abstentions. I was not here. But I am sure the meeting ran smoothly. <laughs> okay. Superintendent's report. Uh, a copy of the monthly report of operations for the month of February is included in your packet. Our average effluent flow for the month was 1.48 million gallons a day. Our effluent quality was well within our permitted and limited. Uh, we averaged 94% BOD removal and 99% TSS removal for concentrations of 14 and 3 milligrams per liter, respectfully. Copy of the pump station flows for the month of February is included in your packet. Note that the Higgins Beach pump station started reporting accurate flows as of March 6th. Uh, Josh, Carl, and I visited a pump station in Holden, Mass, uh, that had been retrofitted with the Sulzer dry pit submersible pumps that we were considering for Higgins Beach pump station. After reviewing that station, we are confident that we can retrofit Higgins Beach using the same pumps. Uh, the plan is to have Underwood sketch out a piping plan and get all the parts and pieces uh, for a fall installation. Uh, Uprise, we executed the contract with Uprise Partners and had our first onboard, uh, onboarding meeting with them. They are currently reviewing our system and will be developing a plan to move forward depending on um, uh, priorities that they find. Uh, they will be focusing on our, on our email system, which has been problematic <coughs> as of late. Uh, we executed the contract documents with T-Buck Construction for pump station number one's replacement. The contract dates are as follows. Uh, project start date will be August 1st with a substantial completion of uh, August 1st of 2025 and a final completion of September 30th of 2025. We've been working with uh, Willette and Associates to finalize the audits. Uh, they are scheduled to present the audit at our April 25th regular monthly meeting. Carl completed the installation of the new plant water pumps. Um, and uh, I made an offer, sometime job offer, to uh, a uh, Benjamin Davis, who lives here in Scarborough and is uh, finishing up his freshman year up in um, uh, of college. Uh, he is uh, at Plymouth State University. And uh, hopefully, though, uh, he'll start. Uh, near the mid, mid to end of May, just the plan. A uh, couple things uh, with the most recent um, ice storm that we had this past uh, weekend. Um, we had, uh, uh, we ended up with 19 of our 26 pumped, uh, pump stations and treatment plant generators were on uh, line, uh, everything went very, very smoothly. Um, by Monday morning, we were down to just having three generators running, uh, including the plant. And by Monday afternoon at, at 4 o'clock, we were completely back online. So I think CMP actually did a great job considering the significant damage that was uh, caused as a result of the storm. And the final thing, I, I, I just got this today and I just wanted to present it. We got our quarterly uh, summary report for the solar farm uh, that uh, we are a part of. And for the last quarter of last year, so the first quarter that we were online, uh, we saved as a result of being a part of that solar farm, 32, basically $33,000 for that quarter. So. 
Um, well, I'll, as we, these come forward, I'll, I'll present them to you. Yeah, and that's what I have for report. Cool. Any questions for the superintendent? Okay. Uh, one, sorry, one question. Yes, uh, go ahead. Role of the intern, what will their primary focus be? It'll be a combination of, of a lot of things, but he is anticipated to do uh, uh, some uh, laboring type work as needed in and around the plant with regards to landscaping. But uh, I also want to take the opportunity such that he can learn the, the treatment process and maybe do some lab work and and even oversee some of the construction activities that will be taking place. So trying to give him a, a quite a varied experience. Great, it's a great opportunity. Uh, I just want to mention that he actually reached out to, to the district, to me, uh, looking for the position. So it, it does speak good for with regards to some initiative. So. Cool. Any other questions? All right. On to correspondence. Gleifelter Claims Management. Uh, Gleifelter provided a payment in the amount of $11,810. Um, for the repair costs for the Higgins Beach pump station due to the December floods. Um, let's see, uh, this payment is uh, the overall cost of, of the, uh, the repairs was $36,810.25. Uh, we did have a $25,000 flood deductible on, on that, and that hence the $11,800 payment, but we did get that. Um, on, on that line, we also did get a notice of uh, policy condition renewal uh, from um, National Union Fire Insurance, who actually covered the flood insurance, saying they're removing flood coverage for that pump station. Um, but with, I've been in communications with our uh, agent, um, Clark's, over at Clark's, and with the uh, flood mitigation uh, work that we're doing, they feel confident that there will be no issues getting additional coverage at that facility. This is in the fact that we're being proactive in doing that work. So. Questions for the superintendent? Moving on to old business, we have none. New business. Annual report, 2023. So historically, we have presented our annual report uh, in conjunction with the annual audit, and uh, it, it will continue be, to be a part of that. But um, I, this year, I, I wanted to separate the two to allow the, dis, uh, the trustees a chance to better focus on each. Uh, so I have attached a copy of the annual report. Um, and as I earlier stated, that the annual audit will be presented next month. Uh, so the annual report, um, I'll just uh, kind of summarize it as the letter that's in front of you. It's, it's uh, to, to the board and, and the citizens of Scarborough, uh, and it over, um, over uh, summarizes our activities for the, 20, uh, the 2023 calendar year. Um, in 2023, the dis district provided uh, wastewater collection and treatment to approximately um, 5,800 accounts, an increase of 86 accounts, uh, of which uh, 5,342 are residential, and the remaining 459 were commercial. Uh, through these accounts, we provided service to 7,664 resident, residential equivalent users and 2,983 commercial equivalent users. In addition to those that are connected to the district's collection system, the district provides treatment for another 24 customers that utilize the sanitary district's wastewater treatment facility for discharge of septic tank waste. In 2023, the district issued a total of 68 permits. Uh, that's a reduction um, from 135 the previous year. Uh, there were, in 2023, uh, there were some public sewer extensions. There was a 450 feet of 15 inch gravity sewer, 450 feet of 12 inch gravity sewer, 730 feet of eight inch plus 16 manholes. 
As of uh, 200, uh, 2023, the district now owns and operates approximately 383,000 feet of gravity sewer, 120, 130,000 feet of force main, 2,200 manholes, 26 pump stations, plus the two and a half million gallon per day wastewater treatment facility. In addition to district-owned infrastructure, there are approximately 42,000 feet of private uh, gravity sewer, 40,000 feet of private uh, force mains, and 35 pump stations, private uh, pump stations uh, that discharge into the district sewer system. We have 12 employees, they're all full-time, and we are responsible for the collection treatment, uh, collection treatment, plan operation and responding to customers' needs um, and inspection of new installations. A total budget uh, in 2023 was $6,077,217, which was up 397000 from 2022. The district average cost of treatment for 2023 was approximately one cent per gallon. Uh, this budget included uh, several large capital projects, including pump station generators and control panels and replacement of the wastewater treatment facility's odor control system, uh, major pump station wet well renovation, and the pre-purchase of two centrifuges in preparation of a sludge dewatering upgrade. Uh, the wastewater treatment facility processed on average 1.41 million gallons per, per day. Overall, we treated uh, 601 million gallons of wastewater from which we removed an average of 95% BOD and 98% TSS uh, removal, uh, biochemical oxygen demand until suspended solids. I did provide a table that shows the, the, the historical flow of, of, at the treatment facility. Uh, as I say, oh, the average flow was 1.61. 6.5, not 1.41. Um, the flow in 2023 was 1.65, but um, the previous year is 1.41, and the, basically it's been about 1.4 million gallons for the last five years. 2023 was a very <clears throat> wet year, so we had a lot of infiltration and inflow. Uh, variation of year to year is as due to infiltration inflow, uh, yearly we target we do target specific areas uh, aggressively to pursue per, pursue the infiltration inflow such that appropriate system repairs can be made. This year we slip line sewers on Old County Road in Partridge Lane. Total septage received in 2023 was 52,000 gallons. The district hauled off site all of its dewatered sludge, which was uh, landfilled. We hauled off 2,320 wet tons of sludge, uh, which uh, were conveyed from the treatment plant in 74 um, haul, uh, trailer dump haul outs. Last year, the district budgeted $1.8 million for capital expenditures. Uh, this included the renovation of the wet well at Pump Station 2 or the one on Pine Point right at the Eastern Trail, the Old County Partridge Lane slip lining, new hypochlorite pumps, generator panels for the treatment plant and Pump Station 6, odor duct fan for the Headworks building, uh, a, a blend tank grinder heat pump, uh, backflow preventers and wash. Uh, y strand for the sludge building, uh, pipe locator, and let's see, yard hydrants, odor control uh, system for the sludge dewatering building, centrifuge, uh, generators for pump station 1, 13, and 21, and crack sealing of the wastewater <coughs> treatment facility uh, paved areas, paved driveway, and new control panels for pump station 19 and 21. In closing, it, it really remains, uh, the district remains dedicated to the efficient treatment, plant, uh, treatment operation um, and uh, protection for, to ensure the protection of our marshes, rivers, and oceans. And I would like to express my appreciation of the trustees, uh, the sanitary district staff, the town manager, and his staff, and the citizens of Scarborough uh, for, for a very great, year. Thank you.
Any questions for the superintendent on the annual report? Go ahead, Tony. Dave, just going through this list um, and looking what the improvements were and the projects you did for the amount of money, mm -hmm. that's amazing. I mean, you look at a, a budgetary number for just the, the listing of items here. I thought you did a commendable job for that. That, that that really speaks highly of our staff that, that completes a lot of the work themselves. Amazing. So we, we save a lot of money with no regards kidding. to doing in-house stuff in-house. Crazy. And one last, one last question. Um, so you can see that over the years, the system's pretty tight, right? You, you can see the numbers. I noticed they were starting to creep up this year. Yeah, they, they, it was still a wet year. I think that, that we did that have good. some okay. impacts uh, with regards to flow. Uh, there's obviously, we've had a lot of connections over the last two years. I'm sure was, there was some impacts as a result of that. Okay. You know, you really got to look at several years to really see what the true impacts of the development is. Yeah, I agree but we're, we're still well within our permanent um, uh, our capabilities of, at the treatment facility. You know, we had, we treated, I think, what is it, 1.65 last year on average, and the treatment facility is designed for 2.5, so. Go ahead, Ben. Could you explain why the sludge went down a little bit while the wastewater went up? Is that our technology, or is that storm water? Um, that, that's one of the, the numbers that I look at with regards to the, the that kind of indicates that even though the flow was 1.65, the, the, the actual um, wastewater coming to the treatment facility, the pounds of wastewater was essentially the same. So I don't think there's been a lot of growth uh, with regards to the flow coming to the treatment plant. It kind of indicates to me it was more inf infiltration inflow. Okay. Any other questions for the superintendent? I'd make a motion that we approve the 2023 annual report, just changing that typo from 1.41 to 1.65 on page two. Second. Thank you, Jason. All right. All in favor for, I need more discussion on the annual report, I should say. All in favor as amended. Thank you. Cool. Budget summary. The two-month budget uh, summary is included in your packet. I recommend approval. Motion to approve. Thank you, Jason. Second. Thank you, Mike. Any questions on the budget summary? Pretty early in the year, we're on budget. Everything's good. <laughs> okay. Um, Barring no other comments, all in favor? None opposed. Public comments. Any public comments? All right. Trustee comments. Yeah, no public right there. I, I don't think he wants to comment. I think he's uh, translating for him. He says, give me a treat. 15, 15 minutes of fame right there. All right, why don't we start with Ben? All right, it's, this was a very, very nice annual report to receive. As, as Tony said, the, the, the numbers are great. The amount that you produced on that budget is very impressive. You know, thank you to you and the staff for everything you do. Everywhere, the same, same from me. Thank you, Dave. Thank you. Mike. Uh, Mike on, please. Mike's mic. Um, yeah, just to echo what Ben and, and Tony said, you know, great job by, by you, Dave, and, and your um, staff. Congratulations. Cool. That's you, Ruth. I'm sorry, I skipped one. Jason, my apologies. <laughs> <laughs> Taken out of order. Uh, similar comments. Thanks, Dave, for a great report. Um, great people do great things, and that's proven in that annual report. 
the staff is exemplary and uh, look forward to seeing what they do this year. Cool. Now I'll ask who. That's why I like him to go first. I ditto what he says. <laughs> Excellent. Joe. Uh, Dave, thanks uh, for separating out the annual report. You know, uh, generally speaking, uh, the audit and the annual report's a lot of information to kind of mull over in one night and even discuss. Um, but uh, I did appreciate it. Thank you. Um, and it just outlines the great work that you and the staff continue to do for the, uh, the town and the service you provide. And happy you guys made it out uh, with the unexpected ice storm uh, without real incident. So thanks again. Uh, I'll echo my fellow trustee comments. Nicely done. I'll also wish everyone a happy and safe Easter and ask for the final motion of the evening, please. Motion to adjourn. Thank you, Jason. Second. Thank you, Tony. All in favor? Okay, we're done.